There's Julie Furtado checking Julie, herself out in the camera. You asked me after the race. Yeah, I am. I've been looking forward to it for a while, so. It's the first race, the first World Cup in the season. This is a different one for you? Uh, a different World Cup season? No, the first race in the season, the first World Cup race. Is this a different feeling when you go in this race than in all the others? After? Oh, yeah, sure. I mean, this is obviously the most important series of the year, and so it's a, it's a huge race. Having raced against most of these gals, and it's nerve-wracking. But it's always exciting. Uh, you never know what's going to happen for the first race of the year, and uh, it's kind of exciting to find out. <laughs> but how do you feel today? Good. I, you know, I like the the weather's great, the course is great, and um, yeah, I'm excited to start the season. Views there from World Cup winner Julie Furtado and World Champion Alison Sidor. I don't think Julie was that interested in the interview. Actually, was she? I think she was more interested in how she looked. Here we have the women on the start line. There's Brit Ryder, Deb Morrell in her new racing kit, riding for Trick this year rather than Saracen. See Louise Robinson there in the rally outfit. And there's Julie Furtado, concentrating very hard. You need to get a fantastically good start today. It's quite wide open first of all, but then it narrows down and funnels into a single track. So important to get a fast start. The women doing five laps today, it's 7.4 kilometers a lap. A total of 37 kilometers. The first hill they come to, they're going to have to turn sharp right. And it looks like Sidor is already in the lead with Furtado right on her tail. Not much in it at the moment. As you can see, the course is quite dry. Deb Moreau in the middle there. And world champion Sidor eases to the front with Furtado right on her tail. And there's Caroline Alexander, number 14. Followed by Petso, 93 world champion. Petso looking for another good season. She came third in the World Cup last year. It's so important for these riders not to let the front runners get too far ahead. And that's Elisa Balduzzi from Scott. And there's Deb Morrell. Had quite a good race at the first round of the BMB a couple of weeks back. There's Susan De Mattei. She's had a fabulous start to the season. She won the Sea Otter Classic race. She came third in the Cactus Cup, but it looks like Sidor and Furtado have already got a gap. Followed very closely by Sarah Ballantyne. 1991 World Cup winner loses her bottle on the descent. Oh, already they, they've pulled out such a gap on the rest of the riders. This sort of course will suit the powerhouse type of rider that Sidor is. Furtado usually likes it a lot hillier. Valentine out on her own in third at the moment. And that looks like Ruthie Mathis there, riding for the same team but a different sponsor this year, Volvic Power Bar, both for Evian last year. There's the current standings after two laps. Furtado with Sidor out on their own. Valentine, third spot. And De Mattei moved up to fifth. Join us after the break for the rest of the women's race.